Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dr. here. Today I want to talk about removing this st spawn status. As you can see there's respawn pod on the spawn pod. Now why that would be important is if you're especially playing a multiplayer server. Now usually if you are playing survival and you're starting off your pod and you save your game and you exit, come back, the spawn pod is still there. But if you are playing a multiplayer server game, 90% of the time, well most of the time, the, the servers are set up that spawn pods delete. So what that means is when you log off, the spawn pod is gone. And most people would like to keep their spawn pod. Most people would like to keep their spawn pods as, as it is basically their starter base, mobile base. So if you're wondering what I'm doing is I'm a recovering material that I can use to both. B um reducing the number of blocks on this spot so bear with me i know this is going to be a bit of a boring part basically grinding steel plates now i'm not going to grind the bottom part i know the top is being connected through the engine and oxygen tank but I do like a little bit of structure on the bottom So I'm basically just going to remove extra unneeded material. And try not to grind things I don't have the research yet to build. Uh, I'm playing with progression on here. I know, I know, not fun watching somebody else grind and grind and grind. But there's purpose to my insanity. Now if I try to repair it, uh, because I haven't reached thrusters yet, I can't repair it. So I have to be ever so slightly careful. Not to grind away anything important. Alright, so on the front of the pod, I do like to open it up quite a bit simply because uh, I'll show you in a second. Just want to get out, make a little bit of space here. Now, usually, what I do is starting off, uh, it's easier to dump material 
to the survival kit drill dump material. So I do tend to open it up firstly for that purpose. Secondly, also because I uh, just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, secondly, because sorry, the drill part, uh, the survival part, also becomes my first drilling ship. I start connecting drills from the survival kit. That's also why I tend to use them. Uh, open up the front so I can use the front of the ship. Low. Not a big train smash to lose one block at the moment, but uh, I would prefer not to lose anything. So while I'm going to be busy, let me also um, press F while you are drilling. It will cut rocks while you are drilling. I know, there will be a few that slip around. Production, I want to do uh, control shift left click and 32 I think so let's start with that anyway well we are I know I know everybody's thinking but we know this part Richard Now, the thing is, let me just clear out a little bit more. Uh, then I'll discuss the two ways to take off the form part from this. Second, uh, G. Just want to show something. Energy low. Now, uh, energy, energy, energy. Uh, let me top up on oxygen also while I'm here. So if you look at your progression sh screen and we go down cargo you see when we build cargo uh, these blocks become available but when you're starting off you don't really have cobalt to start it with so hack your own cargo container now, the big thing I wanted to show is, while we are busy, now, in the control seat itself, go to K, go to Info, you see I have 36 blocks on this pod now. 
what I want to do with that is grab steel plate um, for uh, not necessary to paint it at the moment but <laughs> while well, I've got steel in my hand so I've got one block there but I'll count from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 36, 37. So as you remember, it was 34 blocks. I've added more blocks than it's on the ship. Cut it off. Recover my blocks. My steel, anyway. Place not, want not. Now, if I go to the seat and you watch the respawn pot status there on the back, it's not a respawn pot anymore. Now, the important thing on that is. Sorry, uh, you're gonna have to now keep track of your pot physically. Uh, it's not automatically gonna show you where you are. The second thing I wanted to do is now show the other way. The other way is basically to do a merge block. So a merge block, the merge block process. So merge blocks, merge blocks is here after power so pr manufacture a solar and you will get a merge block and you anyway need power so we have eight production oh, we still don't have enough to completely manufacture it so a little bit more drilling for us Working and thinking makes it difficult to talk at the same time. Let's see production. Oh well, while we're waiting for that, let's put in a little bit more stone. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry again for the wait. Let's see what's happening production wise. Seven, six, and let's check our stone. Have relatively a lot. I mean, for hand drilling. But at the same time, hand drilling gets cold, old very quickly. Sorry for the wait, my dear friends. Uh, now, if you right click control and you drag, you can choose the number of things to come over. If you just double click, it moves all of them. Or if you control click, etc., it brings 10, 12, uh, 10, 100, or 1000 over. I know. So now we have merge blocks unlocked. Unlocked. Just want to make a little bit of space. Um, don't want to do land gear at the moment, but maybe I should. Uh, another trick you can do is if you have the block in front of you, you look at your cargo access and press middle button. It brings out all the material for that block. Now, I don't want to use the landing gear to lock down, but what I wanted to do is move this seat back a bit. Um, yeah, just say GPS. Uh, if you don't show on hut and show on hut, uh, not again, uh, it will actually disappear if it's not grayed out. Seat, no, sorry, flight seat. All right, so now G, we want merge block one, two, place it. Um, yeah, we want to steal, we can do armor block or two, and yeah, we do have armor blocks. Now let's see if we've got all the material, oh, no, technical problem we're going to have. Before we can do merge blocks, we need a basic assembler, and we need a uh, because of the way I do like to lay out the pot, uh, basic assembler, or basic refinery, I mean. So, the way I like to do it is this little gap in the inside. Uh, I place my refinery and then rotate that that is going to be there
uh, the reason I'm building the assembler is the merge block needs large steel tubes and that you can only do in a basic assembler uh, not the survival kit I mean you can of course do it in the, the main assembler the big assembler um, let's see what's going on production wise and let's see refinery well, we've gone through all the stone Now that I've moved that heat, we just need one motor and a couple more computers. Well, as you can see, the merge block process takes a little bit longer because you have to create more material and more things to build it, to assemble it. Drilling gets old quick, very fast. Usually, uh, I wouldn't even bolt the merge block. So as you can see we have been on 20 minutes, 20 minutes about, um, I mean if you have less than 20 minutes to play on the server, I'd rather come back when you can play. So the thing I want to do is... Let me put on a drum. Um, drill first, just to make my life easier. Uh, production. And that reminds me, cargo. I don't need this, I don't need this. And I don't need this, it's taking up space in my inventory. Let's see, production, basic assembler, that all seems well. Alright, so let me just do a little bit of drilling just to get G block tools, block tools, drill on it. I know you can switch on the drill and switch off the drill, but if you use block tools, you can do left click and right click to clear material and then left click to mine again. So, we should have enough material. Now, let's do this again. G, armor block. One, two, merge blocks. One, two. Let's pull everything. And if you see here, add components from your bolt planner. Uh, bolt planner is this one. And 
because now if I press middle button it pulls things but it didn't pull everything so we still have things missing from build planner so you go to inventory add components it goes into your production queue and again that's also why I kind of like grinding down the pot in the beginning so we can get all the um, steel plates and computers and construction components and not be a hundred percent reliant on not be a hundred percent reliant on material in front of us and let me just grab a little bit of steel plate anyway let me grab what is available so we can so one merge block there uh, eight mouse one two three just to give us space don't even have to weld it up I just want it to be locked into the voxels. The important thing is this one and this one. And again, I'm not even going to weld up all the way. I just need it to merge block. Uh, as you see the merge blocks are white which means nothing is happening yellow means close enough to start action but when we touch it and there's nothing blocking it they merge so right now my ship actually changed into a station and if you try to convert it now to a ship, it actually will probably explode on you. So, uh, if I un... Let me put it this way. I should not remove it this way. Okay, merge blocks. You can switch it off. Uh, info. Now I'm a ship again. And that way I would also have uh, transferred spawn pod status to the station actually. Now the second thing is um, if I'm not wrong, oh, actually let's build one quickly. Um, or detected. It needs 20 detector components. Production 1, 2. I usually like sneaking it in underneath. But considering we have our thingamajig there for the second, I think here yeah. again, draw bits. Add to production just to make sure we're getting what we need. Production. Let's grab a little bit more stone and control panel or detector max distance. Luckily, this doesn't use power, so I pretty much leave it max the whole time. Um, 
just want to start this one up and I want to start up a advanced rotor and rotor head okay. anyway just gonna put it into production now the reason I'm saying is this asteroid is ice so the one last thing I want to show before I go is or oh, before I end this video for cargo you need grits for grits you need cobalt for cobalt you need to find cobalt and explore and scout but uh, you did find something on this asteroid that you want to use and want to keep just want to make sure we have enough stone or well, actually let me show you something I'm drilling, I'm drilling, I'm drilling, I'm drilling, I'm drilling, and if I'm not wrong, the drill itself, full of stone. So basically, even cargo is now going to be full. And let me see, production, still producing those things for me. Well, the, the one other thing. I don't need gravel right now. Gravel you're going to use for the reactor components, for the reactors. So I'm just going to dump that for now, make it a little bit more space. Alright, so the one thing I'm going to do is back here. I want access to this access port G. Uh, come on, advanced. I'm gonna put this here, and I need interior plate just to show you. G cargo. Oh, before I can do that, it's gone. Go to game menu, advanced rotor. I want a small hit on this advanced rotor, and then cargo. I want large cargo. Now, large cargo itself, as you can see on the right hand side, I need 24 grids to build a large grid cargo. But if I go to small grid cargo and make sure it is placed uh, 1, 2, 3, I don't need any large grid components, uh, grid components. In this construction but at the same time I do have the same cargo capacity as this small cargo small large grid cargo depending because it's not powered or not completely um, Weld it up. Okay, so back to so the thing I want to show you. Let's get back into the seat. So if I look at my cargo now, small cargo container is fifteen thousand two hundred and sixty-five. Large grid, small grid containers, also 15,625. So basically, 
um, I have used the advanced rotor to um, just want to make because it was spinning I just want to line it up straight Uh, velocity zero, rotor lock on, and now what I can do is uh, G, uh, sorry, because now again this is not my base base. But what I am doing is putting on three three small grid value of cargo containers just in case I actually want to drag anything from this thing with me. Okay, right, so as you saw, we put on solar. We put on a little bit of extra cargo space. We also merge blocked and took off the cargo status we got one drill going so short term i would be focused on a drilling capacity so i can drill a little bit more i would start scouting and i would also work on the power supply because as you can see we've got eight days of power left so there's the sun. Usually my drill ship or this mini base starts looking like a solar sail because I add solar all the long, along the side. Another trick is I make sure you've got nothing on you that you don't mind losing. Pick a rock, go forward, uh, take off your broadcast, take off lamp because we want to save some power you run out of power before you run out of oxygen so save power first now door killer what are you doing well you can scout out asteroids you can leave your ship ship is being powered up doing refinery work does not need you to be flying it around right now so i especially in the beginning jet back over to asteroids and see what they have and when i run out of oxygen and or power just respawn at the spawn pod uh, z to have your thrust uh, thrust is on off And we have solar. Now, I'm not going to fly back. Uh, I'm not going to drill it and fly back. So what I'll do is K. I'm going to say GPS. New from current position. Asteroid. Uh, this is my silver one. So I found something. And we are over there. Well, let me go see what this one has. So as you can see, I'm going to fly until I die. Um, scouting, looking for material quickly around my location. And I'm not dragging this, the space pod, my initial spawn pod with me. Because I don't need to drill right now. Anyway, with the silver, you can't refine silver until you've got the basic refinery up. No. The advanced refinery, the big refinery, if I'm not wrong. Silver, gold, uranium, platinum. They all go through it. But I think silver might go through this basic one. Uh, because you need silver basically for your initially uh, survival kit. So if you're starting a little base, extra survival kit might help you. 
So let's see, what is this rock? Okay, we're going on 40 minutes of recording. But I just want to basically show I'm running from rock to rock to rock. Quickly scouting what is around me. And hopefully find the useful stuff. But I don't have to initially use my ship spawn pod to find what I'm looking for. Or to scout basically. Biggest thing I need now initially is cobalt. Because I'm going to need cobalt to do basically the advanced assembler, the advanced refinery. Because you need that to refine platinum, gold, the next level of material. Uh, also one thing to note, the hand drill itself only has a range of 25 meters. So the downside of scouting by hand, basically, is you literally have to run up to the ore to discover it. If something is 25 meters from me or more, uh, I will not discover it. But again, I have infinite number of clones. So I can just keep on trying, keep on trying, keep on trying. Until I have a little scout ship or until I really want to float around with the... Oh, and you, unknown signals is also mostly a good source of material. Uh, some of them do have iron drives attached. What's this block in the middle of nowhere? Anyway, run out of power, run out of oxygen respawn and we back at home base so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much uh, let's get the sun on my face I hope it's been useful I hope you guys have enjoyed it um, sorry for the delay in the videos been kind of busy so thank you very much everybody have a wonderful time